3D lecture, I'm going to find the zero. Okay, so we need to get the zero of this polynomial, and also we need to verify the relationship between zero and the coefficient. So let's see the answer. So first, I'm going to assume the polynomial. Let f x equal to six x squared minus three minus so here minus so seven x or this we can try to f x equal to six x square minus seven x minus three. Okay, now the next is zero of the polynomial. Here zero of the polynomial. So we need to write this all these things. We, zero of the polynomial is the value of x of x where f x equal to zero. So zero of the polynomial is the value of x where f x that is equal to zero. So that here we can write six x square minus seven x minus three that is equal to zero. Now from uh, this place we need to find the value of x. So here first term multiply with the last terms. So six x square into minus three that is minus eighteen x square that come. Now take the middle terms. So middle terms we can write nine x plus two x. So if you here subtract it equal to minus seven x and when you multiply nine x into two x that's equal to. So it's equal to here minus eighteen x square. So that here we can write six x square. Then after minus nine x plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now here let's take the common 3x then you can write 2x and this is now 3. 1 is the common this is your 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now after that 2x minus 3 and here 3x plus 1 equal to 0 then after here equating with the 0 this one and that one also so 2x minus 3 equal to 0 and there 3x plus 1 equal to 0 so 2x equal to here 3 and x equal to 3 by 2 now here 3x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 1 by 3 so root that root of 0 that come x equal to 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 and after calculating this now here so here you can see this is the equation we have quadratic equation so if I try to compare with the general form of the quadratic equation that is ax square bx plus c okay it's equal to 0 so here a value is now 6 b value is now minus 7 and c value is now here minus 3 so abc value coefficient that you need to compare so abc value that come there now after that uh, here so we can write sum of 0 so sum of 0 so sum of 0 that is equal to 3 by 2 and uh, here plus minus 1 by 3 now you need to calculate this one so here the value come so first uh, thing is so this is now here minus so plus minus that is minus so 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 
and then after this we can write 6 and 3 into 3 9 and here 2 2 into 1 2 so this that comes here 7 by 6 now we also know sum of 0 formula that is minus b by a so minus b by a there I calculated so minus b by a so b value is now minus 7 a value is now 6 so that is equal to here minus minus 7 divided by 6 so minus minus plus that is here 6 so that uh, when I use so this so sum of 0 then that so uh, after calculating this one here you can see after adding this two's x value and here minus b y a that is coefficient that or match so that we can say here so we can say verify the relation between zero and coefficient so first relation with when i taken the here sum then it's a verify and then after here product of zero so product of zero that i'm going to calculate product of zero so product to here 3 by 2 multiplying this so multiplying here 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 3 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 3 so that to here 3 3 cancel that come minus 1 by 2 and we also know product of 0 formula that is equal to c by a so c so here you can see the value of c and here minus 3 by 6 c by a that is here minus 3 by 6 so it cancel by 2 times so here it, this is now minus 1 by 2 so it's also the same so it's uh, verified so this is the relationship with so this is how we can here or uh, we can uh, get the value of the zeros find the zeros x here 3 by 2 and uh, minus 1 by 3 and after that we can verify so ver verify verify sum of zero that is so uh, you need to add this 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 that is 7 by 6 and now sum of zero formula that we know minus b by a so this is here minus b so it's minus 7 and 6 so that uh, here this one this one and that one that match the first verified and if i try to check with the product so product of zero that is here multiplying 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 3 so that is equal to minus 1 by 2 and the formula that we know product of zero that is c by a so c here you can see c value is minus 3 and 6 divided by 6 so minus 1 by 2 so this also verified okay so this is the way we can here get the value and verify the relationship between zero and the coefficient so here the coefficient uh, is now a so a is the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of uh, x and c is the constant so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you